Did Jazz Prince really kill Takeoff? According to DJ Academics, yes, he did. Once upon a time, the type of information that's available to us on the Internet was only at the disposal of the CIA and the FBI. While the Houston Police Department asserted that they did not have any answers, DJ Academics pretty much solved this case in a matter of hours. Let's discuss. Quick note, when you download Japeka and you tap on the augmented reality tab and you can find any one of my drawings on the internet and you scan it with your phone, an augmented reality art experience from that drawing that you scanned will come to life in your living room and you can explore the art and listen to the story that inspired it. Download Japeka on the App Store or Google Play today. By now, You've already seen the videos of Takeoff being shot and killed at Billiards and Bowling in Houston, Texas. Several videos on Twitter shows the body of Takeoff laying on the ground, unmoving and unresponsive. Another video shows Quavo getting into an argument with a man about basketball before a fight ensues and gunshots subsequently ring out. Another video shows Quavo screaming at the realization that Takeoff has just been shot and killed. Most likely you've already seen those videos and I will not show them here. If you opened up Instagram yesterday, 98% of your feed consisted of stories about this murder. In an effort to get to the bottom of it, EJ Academics initiated a live stream this morning where in 36,000 people watched him break down this case and put identities on every single person involved. According to the information that Academics presented, in addition to what some of the witnesses stated, Takeoff was killed by accident. The root of the altercation was apparently a dice game and it's being alleged that Quavo had lost $7,000. Upset about the way that things were going, he got into an argument with a man wearing a white hat and attempted to leave without paying. Quavo was then approached by the man, and according to DJ Academics, Quavo punched the man who was following him. Now, DJ Academics is asserting that Quavo threw the first punch, and then a fight ensued. After seeing that the young man in the white hat was getting the best of Quavo, someone pulled out a gun in order to protect Quavo from further harm and started shooting at the man in the white hat. Takeoff apparently stood up to see what was going on and as he stood up, one of the bullets struck him in the back of the head. He wasn't gambling, he wasn't a part of the altercation, he stood up to see what was going on and was struck by one of the bullets that were discharged to protect Quavo. But who was the gunman? First, DJ Academics identified an Instagram user by the name of Saint Elizabeth, who initially tweeted that she was a witness before going live to state that she did not see who the gunman was. Here to really send condolences to take off and just, like, I don't want to, I'm not going through none of the events again. I'm not going through nothing again. Y'all saw what I tweeted. Like, if y'all want to know my side, I tweeted it when I'm ready to speak on more of that. Like, you know, that's whatever. But right now it's like, it's just not the time for that. I'm really just on here to send condolences to take off in his family and everything because like that shit was really tragic. Like I've been sleep, like I've been sick the whole day. Then he zeroed in on a woman who seemed to be right at the scene just before the gunshots rang out. And he identified her as an Instagram user named Maloney Loney. And he directed the Houston Police Department to find her and squeeze information out of her. She apparently was one of the 36,000 people watching him live because during his live stream, she took to Instagram and posted, quote, y'all see the time on my phone. I was at another club by 140. Sorry, that was not me. I wasn't the only devil at the party. Whoever academic is need to get his facts together. Stop trolling. 
Now, while academics seem to be getting most of his information from the Instagram stories of mutual friends of mutual friends, in one part of the live stream, he takes some posts from Jazz Prince's social media, wherein Jazz Prince was showing off his outfit for the evening. He was wearing green and beige Air Forces, blue jeans, a cream sweater, and a green hat. And in an analysis of a video from TMZ, wherein the shooter was seen in the altercation, he was wearing the exact same outfit. The green Air Forces, the blue jeans, the cream sweater, and the green hat. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Dude, you know what you want, though? Because there's two. Hey, guys. That's jazz. That's jazz. Bro, remember he said he was in bed when he heard about this shit, bro? <laughs> For real? He, that's what he said. Yeah, I seen, I seen that in your, in your stream. Right? Bro, he said he was in bed. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to post this on a burner real quick. I'm about to post this on a burner. I don't even post on this page, really. I'm about to post this on a burner. Nigga, you said he was on. You said he was in bed, nigga. Nigga, he was catching Z's. So let's break this down. At the end of the day, we lost a beloved artist. I'm a fan of the Migos and I've said it time and time again, Takeoff was most definitely the most talented rapper out of the Migos. And if you really know the history of the Migos, if it weren't for the fact that Takeoff was as good of a rapper as he is or as he was, they would have never got their record deal. The agent who discovered them was drawn to Takeoff because he reminded him of uh, members of Bone Thugs and Harmony. And if it wasn't for the fact that Takeoff was a great rapper, we would never know who the Migos are. That's undisputed that he was the best of the three. Tragedy aside, emotions aside, what are the legal ramifications of this? And in this specific situation, it's more than just what are the legal ramifications because it's more about who's involved. Jazz Prince is a powerful individual. Let's just put it out there. His father, Jay Prince, is arguably the most feared figure in the hip hop world since Suge Knight, okay? Now, I don't know how many of you guys listened to the press conference from the Houston police chief. I listened to it live. I believe I heard something different than what everybody else heard. Specifically when he stated that, you know, he was connected to the rap community in Houston and that he wanted to bring everybody together to find a better way to resolve the situation. To you, it may have sounded like word salad. To me, it sounded like Jay Prince is my dog and nobody from Houston is going to be arrested for this. That's what I heard. OK, I could be wrong, but that's just what I heard. And then you have to think about it like this. The state of Texas is an open carry state and you have more than enough leg room in the state of Texas to use deadly force to defend life or property. If Jazz Prince is, in fact, the person who killed Takeoff, he was justified in using deadly force to protect the life of Quavo. And by Takeoff standing up in the middle of a shootout indicates that this was not intentional. It was not premeditated. It was an accident. We may get to the bottom of this case, but I don't believe anybody's going to be arrested for it, especially if the things that academics said are true, and especially given the people that's involved. Sometimes in this world, it's all about who you know. And again, looking at it from a legal standpoint, given the way that the laws are written in the state of Texas, this probably could have been anybody else and they would still walk. This is a reality that's going to upset a lot of people. It's gonna hurt a lot of feelings, but it's just another one of those things to where unfortunate things simply happen. Till next time.